All right, go. Hey, everybody. I'm here with uh, Jerry and Donna from Daughters of the American Revolution, an outstanding organization that we support. We're going to get behind them, see what we can do to help them out. Please tell, tell everybody that haven't heard about you. Tell them what you guys do and how y'all help them. Thank you. Uh, again, my name is Donna Moore with the Daughters of the American Revolution. Uh, our organization was formed in 1890, so we go that far back. We have three uh, missions, and that's education, patriotism, and historic preservation. Uh, there is a great passion for our veterans, and personally, this past year, our chapter's done over 50 different types of events for veterans. Uh, some of the, well, we're here today at the Armed Forces Mall supporting veterans. Uh, we're involved with a homeless shelter in Fort Worth, Presbyterian Night Shelter, that we have honored uh, those veterans with certificates and many, many, many carloads of items for that organization to help those veterans. There is a veteran sack lunch that we do at a VA hospital in February. It's coming up. We did a big new event this year at the uh, annual Sky Ball hosted at uh, the DMW Airport by American Airlines. That is, uh, we were there volunteering to help those organizations this day. It's a big fundraiser by them to support wounded warriors and many, many organizations who are veterans that have been injured or still need assistance. Uh, while we were there, the DAR had a booth. One of the Medal of Honor came up. What an honor it was to meet the first uh, first event. Uh, we also do a lot of uh, group events like this. We're several uh, groups pulled together with the SAR. We partner a lot with that organization. Where um, there's one out at Fort Worth Aviation, where we do the same thing. A lot of it is honoring our Vietnam veterans. There is a uh, the uh, Department of Defense has a commemoration initiative where we're honoring the 50th anniversary of that war. So we're always working with different groups, honoring those veterans with a certificate, and there's a special hotel to do that. So we work with this organization all the time, trying to support our veterans. My name is Jerry Geeger, and I'm the president of the Van Zandt chapter in Fort Worth of the Southern American Revolution. Uh, the Southern American Revolution, like Donald said, we're older than they are. Our, cha our uh, organization was formed in 1880, but uh, they're five times bigger than we are because they've got all these, these ladies uh, who are members that signed up uh, much more than we did. Um, we, we support uh, the same kind of program they do. We're currently supporting uh, the uh, 50th anniversary of the Vietnam War uh, in particular, and we've given out uh, commemorative pins that are provided by the Department of Defense for uh, hundreds of these because we organize events and, uh, as, as many as uh, 25 or 30 at a time, sometimes down to one or two, because uh, what one of our, uh, one of our, not just one, three of our guys got together and decided a good place to go was through Meals on Wheels. <clears throat> so if they did Meals on Wheels deliveries, they knew who were uh, uh, guys that were shut in that were Vietnam veterans. And so they took to, they went to their house one time, one time, knocked on the door with the, the meal and then asked them if they uh, were Vietnam veterans or if they all, all said we knew they were. And uh, they were so surprised to get the pen. It, it, it really does something to you when you participate in that because you see what they, how much uh, they, uh, hurt they have, they exhibit and I'm over it and it's like now I'm getting recognized again. Uh, another program we, we support is the uh, Junior ROTC and the ROTC program in, here at Texas Christian University. The, uh, they have Air Force and they have Army ROTC. We support both of those with awards each year uh, for outstanding cadets. We support uh, the JROTC and the Fort Worth School System and other school systems that are around that have ROTC units uh, by awarding uh, medals to uh, uh, selected uh, cadets 
uh, they're selected by their uh, their commanders. So uh, we know that they're the ones that take the so they get it. Uh, there's I'm thinking uh, about 15 schools outside of the Fort Worth school system and the Fort Worth school system has uh, uh, at every high school. They have RTC units, so we, and we do it. They they do too. They come to the same events we do, and, and uh, they'll award it to a different uh, student who, who their commanders or their uh, instructors decide who, who is the candidate for that. Uh, we also provide scholarship money to high schools, uh, high school seniors. And juniors. Well, actually, they can, they can actually be uh, a sophomore, uh, and the top. Uh, of that program, it's an essay contest and an oration contest. They're two separate contests. The top uh, amount of money is uh, if you win the whole thing at national, it's over ten thousand dollars scholarship money. So uh, we support those those programs. Even at a lower level, we have uh, a poster contest for. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, we have a poster contest for. Uh, elementary school students uh, to promote uh, uh, education uh, in American history. The purpose of it obviously is to, because we know the schools are not doing uh, as much as they used to do uh, as far as uh, teaching American history and we uh, are trying to promote that. We provide them with uh, teaching materials and we uh, will go to the schools and uh, perform programs. We also uh, uh, locate people who properly display the American flag. Uh, and by that we mean they have either an all-weather flag and lights or they take it down every year, I mean every day, uh, at, at night. And uh, <clears throat> we, we award those to businesses and we also award those to uh, any uh, entity or persons who are not required by law, meaning the post office is not eligible because they're required by law to fly the flag. Uh, and, and we do uh, award flag certificates for those so that uh, they will know that uh, people will be able to, to recognize that uh, they do recognize and do support the, the uh, United States flag. Uh, we have multiple other programs which I can't uh, relate to y'all. Where you <laughs> where you out? Uh, that we, yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. So. But I, I will say this, a membership in this organization comes about by proving your uh, lineal descent from a patriot that served in the American Revolution. And uh, it's, it's, it's not uh, too difficult, but it's not just slammed up to walk in and say, hey, I want to be a member. It doesn't work that way. You have to prove your lineal descent. So, uh, and, and the DAR is the same way. They have to prove their lineal descent. You can, uh, at my age, it's like 64, 64 possibilities that are out there uh, that I can find. Uh, grand, grandparents, great grandparents, great 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 fifth great grandparents that uh, would have been a part of the of the American Revolution, either by providing uh, patriotic service in the form of. Uh, of food and uh, uh, provisions for the military are actually picking up the rifle, and, uh, not a rifle, but a musket, and going into the battle themselves. So uh, we do all those, uh, we have proven all those. And uh, I guess that's pretty good. Yeah. Right. You want to close out, Donna? I did. Uh, I wanted to try uh, coming off something that Jerry said. Uh, we do the same thing. A lot of our, our programs, you know, are uh, aligned together. One of them is community classroom where we too are reaching out to certain elementary schools. Uh, the Dolphins one where we're bringing with patriotism and more American history into the schools. One of the other uh, major projects that we did for veterans in December was we were working with Operation Shoebox, and that's where we saw it. We had an event early in December where we had 500 Christmas cards signed between our chapter members and a retirement center. Many of the retired veterans were so excited about sending their comrades overseas Christmas cards. And so that was getting back to what Jerry said about how heartwarming it is. It's 
two-way street <clears throat> for both parties. Uh, we sent 500 cards on top of that. We took up collections for what our troops need overseas. We sent over 10, 10 very large policies on two operations, two bodies, to our, our veterans overseas, our troops overseas. And one other thing I wanted to mention was I mentioned earlier about working the Presbyterian and Night Shelter and the Patriot House, and these are homeless veterans. And we did a certificate ceremony for them, and I will say not everyone had signed up for that certificate. And we were there during one of their annual picnics in May, and for the veterans who had not been able to sign up for that, the SAR was there as well, but when he said if anybody has not signed up and wasn't able to get together with the right people, let me know right now. We had folks there. I can't tell you the hands that went up and, and how they looked at us. On, I want one of those. They wanted, it was time to recognize them. And so it was, it was very touching when some of them couldn't even really fill out the form themselves. So they asked, can you help me? Oh, yeah. 